God damn. God damn. My lady pregnant again. But this time she pregnant with twins. Another collection plate. Come on, preacher, that's kind of strange. I'm sorry, God, I need that little change. I gotta do a couple things. Cause that stimulus, it ain't stimulate. Tax time, the mama got pissed and won't let them claim the baby. They shooting again. These just crazy, they need some help. Man, they shot him in the hill. He fell out and shit on his cell. My cousin fall. What's happening? What? Y'all already know what time it is, baby. You is tuned in. All to the, the way Pop in. It Up podcast. For all the early birds, man, we double salute y'all. You know what I'm saying? For um locking in with us. We did real good um the last episode. And um I must say, man, once we get y'all that number to call, man, after the show, you can't call it. You know what I'm saying? That's the that's the studio line and man, we had a bunch of missed calls, but while y'all seeing us on the show, make sure y'all hit us up. We take calls kind of at the end of the show. Well, you already know what time then, man. This is the Pop It Up Show. My co-host right here, my dog. Please believe it's Steve. Y'all know I'm bringing it every time. Hey. <laughs> Definitely. Hey. But and we tonight, tonight special, 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 special tonight, you know what I'm saying? But yeah. like I say, man, we appreciate all y'all for uh, for last time we had a podcast, you know. So now, like, it's big and better. With a new atmosphere again. Like, you know, energy is everything, so. I can say, man, yeah, that new number now is not our number, so please nah, don't call the number, number. number. Please don't call the number. But and listen, before we man. get started, they hit the sponsors, man. Listen, y'all know this is sponsored by Ubuntu Apparel. You know what I'm saying? I do have on one of the most requested fits, which we have in this color, and we also have in peach. We dropped it twice. It's sold out because we send it out to those who are part of our SMS and uh, emailing list. But we have it on the site right now. You can go to UbuntuApparel.com. Grab the sweatsuit, man. We have the female biker sets. You know what I'm saying? Something that fits you real nice. You can, you know, do some little errands and stuff. in. You know, step out, be casual with it. And um, I want to double salute everybody that been supporting, man. We've been um, doing pretty good with the clothing line. Ubuntu means I am because we are. You know what I'm saying? This is some real uh, sacred, and it has a has a meaning. So this is uh, fashion with a purpose, okay? So make sure you head over to the site. Grab you one of these outfits for the all sold out. We also had this in Peach, too. And we got a lot of other things on the site, too. So there you go. We finna get into it tonight. Get into it. You know what I'm saying? But, tonight. But, but, but bro, tonight the topic it, 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 it's gonna like ruffle the feathers. It's gonna be like It's supposed to. It's it gonna shake some people. It's supposed to. It's gonna have in their mindset for the next two weeks about it's like supposed to, really yeah. like what I just heard and, and what I just researched and, and what I just really what I visualized last years of my life. Yeah, it's supposed to. Now what I tell people if you have a conversation with somebody and you feel the exact same way. Entering that conversation, when you leave it, you might not got no value out of that. You know what I'm saying? You want people to tell you the truth to where it, you know, like they say, the truth hurts. You know what I'm saying? So don't always look at it like, oh, you know, it's this, that. Don't look at it like that. You know what I'm saying? But tonight we're going to get into it. Um, the topic, if y'all saw the topic on the Pop It Up podcast, the topic is you obey man over God. Ooh. And we finna get into that topic. Ooh. Definitely gonna ruffle some feathers. But we like I say, we, one thing about the podcast, you're gonna learn something. You know what I'm saying? So I always want people to learn something, man. I don't wanna be like one of them podcast where it's just, you know, and you know, whatever. See you talking out your head, talking over there, you're talking over there. No, we talk direct to what's going on, really what's going on. So all that them podcast you hear and, and no discredit no one, but we ain't on here for that. Nah, we ain't on there for that. Hey, it so, brought to me, we, we are all together. We all fell Y'all phone calls mean everything to us, too. And we will be taking calls at the end of this podcast, so y'all stay tuned. Uh, let's get right in it, man. What's the biggest part, you think? Part? The part into, like, people b- b- believing in believing the man and God. Everything, almost. You know what I'm saying? Um, I don't think people understand the um, magnitude of the control, the powers that we have over us. People worship the most high or God within the, the circumference of uh, government and, and, and um, dictatorship. 
and you may not think that is true, but question your reality. Like I tell people all the time, the reality that you're in was given to you. It's nothing you experienced yourself. It's nothing that you uh, did and then and, and 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 gave it with that whatever respect that you wanted to give it or not give it. They told you this is an apple, you went with it. They told you this is a tree, you went with it. Everything you know was given to you by the same people. And within that circumference, then you have, you know, your relationship with God. And most people be like, yeah, I got a relationship with God. Yeah, yeah. Most people don't even know who God is, bro. No. Because the very people that gave you the concept of that are the same people. You got to think what I'm saying. Don't shoot the messenger, okay? I was told lies just as well as you was. But a lot of people, and especially y'all, are starting to wake up. Can't You only can fool a fool. Remember that. You can only fool a fool. And if you look at all the examples, you know what I'm saying, just use common sense. You can put it all together. You know what I'm saying? Um, I definitely want to let people understand that. Let's get into the first um, topic of that, what we're talking about. Herbs. Right? Just natural herbs. If you watch me, my day to day video, I take natural herbs every day. Okay? Natural herbs. But you got people that worship what they worship. You know what I'm saying? They go to church every Sunday. They got a relationship with the most, whatever. But scared to eat a plant. That's true. The very plant God put here for you, right? Now, we let man take that same plant, turn it to a pill form. Now you want to take it. All because man told you, take this sublement. It's like a substitute teacher. It's not the real deal. This is synthetic uh, drugs. And this is just for, uh, this is for, for, for big pharma to make money, bro. But you say you believe in God, you believe in the most high and all these things. And why are you afraid to take these things that, God put here on earth for us to use. It don't make no yeah. sense. So I'm just showing you how much trust and how much belief you have in man, right, before God. And it's, and it's Ooh. no disrespect now. We all here to learn. Y'all know we family. But we must dissect this, and hopefully somebody can hear this in a different light and start to realize, like, yeah, that's true. You know what I'm saying? I want You're also going to realize how much... Um, dictatorship and control you're under. You're like, this is a lot of stuff people don't think about. Because like I say, the reality that was given to us is pretty much shut up and just go with what's going. You know what I'm saying? They don't want you to question nothing. They don't like people like me. I question everything. Yeah. And like I said, it's just common sense. So herbs, like I say, just regular herbs. If you believe in the most high, you know this. Why are you scared to take herbs? People scared to touch dirt. Do you know what dirt and water do for you? Yeah. As far as your basic necessities. Think about this now. This is the stuff I think about. You got people that won't get their nails dirty, scared to touch dirt, but yet enjoy all the things that dirt and water brings to them. You know what I'm saying? Without dirt wow. and water, you wouldn't have cotton. That's all yeah. I, we can go on and on, yeah. right? But yet we've been taught these things to control us. I've been out of this reality. I've been unraveled. This fake reality that they gave us. And I want you to do the same. But it starts at a simple stand, standpoint. Very, very simple. Stuff you overlook every day. You get what I'm saying? Same as like, um, well, the same as like uh, religion itself. You know what I'm saying? We let man give us the image of what that looks like. I keep telling you, know your biology. Why you think they fight to 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 control all the... The uh the education. Oh man, they, they control that big time. Why? They control. Why they you, control that? Yeah. Why you I think like they, they fight for that? that. They fight to control your education. So they can control you. I told. I I, I tell you all the time. For all the newcomers, he who controls the past controls the future. He who controls what you think controls you. True. Everything that you think was given to them, and I'm gonna keep saying it because I want I want you to unravel this reality that you've been faced with. For your, for your whole life, whether you're 30 years old, 40, 25, whatever. From day one, they've been working, yeah. working on you, working yeah. on you, and got you where you at right now. And I'm just trying to unravel that in an hour on this podcast. So bear with me. But like I say, you know, you get a lot of um, 
I, you know, it, especially on TV shows and stuff, oh, talk man, shows. That's, that's all. You know what I'm saying? You always gonna hear, um, and this is no disrespect. You always gonna hear females say, "I don't want a man unless he God fearing." But what that looked like to you? Hmm. When everything you know about God was given to you by man. Mm. See, no, nobody yeah. want to have these tough conversations. Ooh. And you're not wrong for that, but I just want to unravel you, like I just said. Let me unravel you a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Don't be afraid now, but if, if you're afraid, then you are what we call a lost soul. You've been worked on. They've done a number on you, and you flow that way going in the wrong direction, all because they've poisoned this. They got you up here. It's a done deal for you. Yeah. And don't be afraid of it. But when you say that, what does that mean to you? You get what I'm saying? True. What does that sound like to you? See, a lot of these people starting to wake up. It's starting to make sense now. I pay attention to the comments. I see y'all waking up. But for those who sleep and don't want to wake up, because a lot of people just don't want to know the truth. They no. don't care to know the truth. No, no. You feel what I'm saying? But when you say that, you need a God-fearing man. You know What does that look like to you? You know what I'm saying? Who told you that? And if you know your biology, like I said, they fight for education to tell you, you know, what you are and what you ain't. But if you know your biology, especially as a black person, you have neuro uh, melanin in your skin. You have a direct connection to the sun. Right? And, if you, if, and for those who don't have neuro Melanin in their skin, you know, can catch stuff with they sun poisoning. So when you put two and two together, the imagery of what they gave us of what the God looked like, that's non melanin melanated or have no neural melan uh, melanin in their skin. How is it possible when they can catch sun poisoning? I said earlier, all you gotta do is use common sense. Oh, okay, oh, that's big. Wow. And and, and, and and for my white audience. What I want people to understand is we've all been lied to. You know what I'm saying? We've all yeah. been lied to by a small group of people that's ready to knock us all off the face of the earth. People are starting to really realize, like I say, we are all under this same dictatorship. I don't give a damn what color you are. You're yep. not a part of the bloodline. Stop protecting people that you think, right, are superior or told you that you're superior. As soon as we can all realize we have one coming enemy, man, the quicker we can get to it. You know what I'm saying? But they've done a number on y'all, too. Yep. They, done, they done done a number on all of us. You know what I'm saying? And people got to realize, man, it's time to wake up. Like I said, you got to shake them till you wake them. Some people just afraid of that. I don't understand that. And I'm going to give you another thing, too, right? I know I'm kind of here and there. And the topic, if you just joined, the topic is about um, we put more... We 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 believe more in man than God, right? And it's not your fault. There's a group of people that has an agenda that has nothing to do with you. Nothing. Ready to knock you out the face of the earth. You know anything about the, the, the um 2030 agenda, uh Claude Swab, you know what I'm saying? Um the economic uh forum, the World Economic Forum, um uh, Mr. Gates, because you can't say his name. And I'm not talking about Kevin Gates. You know, shout out to Kevin Gates, but I'm not talking about him. Y'all know who I'm talking about. The tech guy who's, who's, who's for some reason, feel like there's too many people on earth, but yet they are saying there's too many people on earth, but yet creating robots. Don't make no fucking sense. At That's all. crazy to me. That's oh, crazy. I say. Don't make no sense. That's crazy. And, and That's crazy. Let's talk about. This too, when I spoke about when I spoke about herbs, let me show y'all the beast that we up against, right? Monsanto. If you don't know nothing about Monsanto, do your homework. Monsanto is one is the company that, one of the company that created GMOs, right? Genetically modified organisms. These people done figured out a way to go into plants, right, and create it to where it don't reproduces, to where you got to go to them to buy the seeds. See, remember now. God put all this on earth for us. And I, I just just blow my mind for people who go to church every Sunday ain't out here protecting God's land. Oh, said it again, powered up. You see what, what I'm saying? Hold on, hold on, hold on. People it go to church no on sense. Sundays and not protecting yeah. God's land. People going Man, to church every day. What? And that's why I say it's a, it's a tough conversation, but you got to understand. Wow. You big. You, you living in the devil's playground. You know what I'm saying? That's big. Ooh. And we're under their construct, their dictatorship. So trust me, like I told you, they'll never give you the resources to overthrow them. 
We're, I'm, that's why I say you're going to learn just how in bondage you are. Because a lot of people don't feel like they're in bondage. But let's get to it. Monsanto is a company that, that one of the company that created the GMOs, right? These people want to control what you eat. We're talking about what God put here on earth for all of us. And like I say, they're fighting for their father, which is darkness, every fucking day. Why not those who go to church every Sunday, they, they very religious, this and that. Get out the church, man. Nothing up to this day, not just religion, but education, religion, finances, uh, NAACP, you name it. None of it has worked today. We're still in the same position. So once you agree to that That's first, true. then you can you can you can you can move the layers out the way. You can get out your feelings. Nothing up until this day has worked. If anybody tell you differently, they're ignorant. Yes. They are one thousand percent ignorant. So we can agree that whatever up until today ain't working is something broke. Okay, Monsanto, let's get back to Monsanto. Monsanto is a company that forced farmers, right, to buy their product because they done figured out a way to where these plants don't reproduce. Now, remember, when we grew up, we had orange trees, guava trees, pears, uh, you name it. We was able to go in somebody's yard and eat. Where you see that at today? Think about that. Where do you what 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 where can you go and see orange trees? And I ain't talking about like because like I said, if you ain't if you ain't thirty years or older, you don't know what that means. I'm talking about everywhere you go is plentiful oranges, grapefruits, this that whoop de whoop. Why did they get rid of all that? Hmm. Think about that now. Mm. Think about it for one second. Why did they get rid of all that? Mm. You got countries right that hang fruits on on the fences for the homeless. I told you, America throw away so much food a day so they can solve their own hunger problems. But you got to understand, these problems help benefit them in other areas. The reason, and I know I'm getting a little off topic, but the reason why when we, when we feed the homeless, right, they try to take us to jail and all that, but we figured out a way to get around it. Instead of feeding the homeless, throw them a party. But when I do my research on it, the reason they don't want you to feed the homeless is because you're aiding them. It's a difference between help and aid. And when you aid them, that means you're stopping them from committing crimes. So, therefore, they don't eat. They don't make no money when people go to jail. I told you in Arizona, when the prison came to Arizona, they signed a contract saying that this prison will be occupied 97% of the time. When it dropped below 97%, guess what happened? They sued the state of Arizona. All because of one enough people locked up. Now, people who go to church, people who political, people who all that. Where is these people when it comes to things like this? Like, this is common sense, bro. Where's the voices? Like, who, who who's putting these campaigns together? That's why I say, as long as you're under America construct, bro, this shit is designed for you to be just where you're at. Everything is going according to plan, bro. Like, get out your feelings. Until we change what's going on, voting ain't going to change nothing. Hmm. Going to their schools ain't going to change nothing. Eating their diets. Letting them control what we can and can't eat. Bro, nothing's going to change. But let's get back to Monsanto. I know I be all of but Monsanto, That's Monsanto. Big, well, they say nothing's going to change. Like, it ain't going to change, Like you said, like, there's nothing going to change. Like, because we keep doing what they say us do. They of say course. Do. Like you said, it's true. It's their diets. Everything is there. It's everything they got. It's everything there. They ain't gonna change. The crazy part about it is this, man. People who, especially blacks that are in powerful positions that knows this, you have to understand how the pyramid works. As it goes down, it gets weaker for the people. But it gets stronger for the ones at the top. Because we hold the pyramid up. But as it goes down, as long as the right people, they getting the money they're getting, they're getting their palms, grease, whatever, as long as, as it's going down, it's getting weaker and weaker. It's coming down to more people, more broke people. And broke people in America, you have no voice from what they say until you realize what I'm telling you. We have all the power. But when you go to their schools and when you're under their construct, their dictatorship, they tell you differently. Because as it goes up, you got families that get, that's making money. don't give a damn about what you got going on. And as it goes up, you got some more people who got more money who don't care what they got going on. But coming down, it's the opposite. 
And when it gets to the bottom, it's poor piss broke. This is the pyramid, okay? But let me get back to Monsanto. Monsanto, this is going to blow your mind right here. Farmers, anybody that's in farming, any type of agriculture, y'all know exactly what I'm talking about. I've had conversations with y'all. I've seen them letters that the government was sending out telling y'all to destroy y'all crops, okay? Let's get to it. Monsanto, pollen. When we're in pollen season right now, that's why you see all this yellow stuff on your car. Pollen blows organically with the wind. This is what God created. This is a system that God created, that the wind blows and it blows pollen and it it, it it gets into other plants. And this is how a lot of other flowers and things get impregnated by plants and by insects carrying the pollen. Now, if you do not have Monsanto's product, okay, we're not talking about God's natural way of doing things, but man, again, if your field is right here and you're surrounded by other fields that have Monsanto's product, right? If if it blows into your field, that's a copyright infringement. What? You you <laughs> listen. No, I can't make what? this. I can't. What? I want y'all to see if the it blows, beast. If it blows in if your it field, blows if in it the blows field, over there. Listen. If Man. your field is right here and you're surrounded by other fields that are using Monsanto's product and it naturally blows into your field, you that's copyright infringement. And they now they finna take you up through the. I'm wow. trying to show y'all the beast control. that we're working with. The devil. When you think of the devil, don't look underground, bro. Don't look underground, bro. This is the reason why they gave us God in the image of a man and the devil in the image of a cartoon character. Wow. Come on, bro. Like at the end of the day, there's been a lot of farmers that have, they've, I mean, they had farms in their family for years, drove them out of business. They can't compete with them. You're talking about. The United States of America, that's the biggest gang in the world. Like I be telling y'all, man, these little dudes on the streets talking about they got their little street cred, they spinning the block. Man, you ain't no, you ain't nowhere near where these folks at, bro. No. I'm talking about period. I tell y'all all the time, Hillary's, the Bushes, the government, and all these motherfuckers, them are the real gangsters, okay? That's the end all be all. If you knew how many people they have, and I'm trying to use my words correctly. If you know how many people they have sent to the upper room, it don't compare, okay? But like I said, you're living in a world that's governed by a group of people that don't care what's your religion preference, where you from, what it is. They have an agenda, and it has nothing to do with you at all. And like I told y'all, we are human guinea pigs. We consume all the toxins that they don't want to get rid of. This is where you get the turn from the rudum to the tutum. They're going to sell you everything from the nose to the ass. Dang, if crazy. they get rid of milk and cows, it costs them money to do that. So what they do, they market it as if it's good for breakfast or it's good for your bones. It's strong for your bones. It's actually the opposite. It makes your bones uh, weaker. This is facts. But when you don't, when you don't control the narrative... You know what I'm saying? You don't control nothing. You's a participant. Wow. See, the difference with black folk, black folk want to go out, pick it, and, 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 you, and you have to march and protest. You know what that mean? That mean you trying to gain momentum to make a stance. Them motherfuckers just cancel you. They just hit a button. That's a difference. It's a difference between canceling somebody and, 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 and boycotting. Cause when you boycott, you trying to rally up and get people to get behind you and all that for what? I why I say I don't think people take a chance and think about the situation we in as far as this world goes. That's why a lot of us, you can't you can't solve problems that you don't even know exist. This is what you call silent weapons for quiet wars. Go get the book. You go in that wall, you think because you, like I tell y'all all the time, you think because you ain't got paint on your face, you don't see bombs blowing up and tanks. You think you in that war? I'm going to give you another example because all this go across the board. People think because you got a gun, you kill somebody, you shoot somebody, you a killer. You got a lot of parents right here, right here, right now, going shopping, buying junk food, killing their kids. You a killer. That's real. That's real. That's true. What you think you is? You slowly, it's no different than what they're doing to us, bro. 
Think about this shit. How the hell McDonald's <laughs> got contracts with hospitals? Hospitals ain't nothing but hospitality. That's Meaning, crazy. we just gonna comfort you till your ass die. Skip all that what God put a, put here for us, right? Again, we obey more of man than God. Ain't nothing on earth that can't be reversed. It don't make sense. So when they tell you, oh, this can't be cured, this can't be... Come on, man. Why the fuck we even listening to these people, bro? That's why I say, bro, think about what I'm saying. That's true. They have an agenda to wipe you off the face of the earth, homie, like the dinosaurs. But and that's what they're doing. They gonna follow the same suit, too. They'll be gone, too. Nah. Like I tell y'all, this is the information age. They know a lot of people was going to pull back from jobs and get their own jobs. And, you know, things are going to be different because now we have the information. Remember, they had an anti-literacy oh. law. The anti-literacy law just basically says, by law, you can't teach slaves how to have a better education. We're putting you at default where you are at a, you at a position where you're going to lose. Oh. This is a law. True. Think about what I'm telling y'all. This is a law. <laughs> so why, like, fast forward, right? AI stepping in, like I said, they say too many people on earth, but yet they they building robots. Think about that for one second. And I told y'all, you know, the 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 what I think people should do is when Kanye West, like I said, Kanye West got the biggest balls in the world. I'm gonna tell you why. He ain't never been a street nigga a day in his life, but he stood up to the same people that a lot of the motherfuckers scared to talk about. The same mm. people they write letters to so thank you. Oh, sorry letters. Oh, I'm sorry we said. You feel me? Nick Kanye West stood up too. Now what if LeBron James would have joined him? Yeah. What if all the other so-called black activists and so-called black, you know, influencers and what if they would have joined him? They could have changed the world overnight, bro. Sure could. If they, if him and LeBron James would have got together and said, you know what? Fuck Nike. You know what I'm saying? We finna build our own store. We put our own products in there. Each store they would have opened up on day one, that bitch would have been lying around the corner. We got all the influence. Yep. But why they won't do it? Hmm. Why well, I say, bro, we, we believe more in man than we do God. You know what I'm saying? And you have to you have to identify that in your day-to-day. And, and a lot of people, like I said, when you rotting into a psychosis, bro, you don't even know what I'm talking about existing until I'm maybe until we talking about it now. That's why we're doing it, Parker. I want you to think. Don't be teach you not to think. That's what school does. School kills free will. They teach you what to think, not how to think. I keep telling y'all this shit. And while we on that topic, a lot of people when I when they put up the the um the picture of the 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 first black women that graduated from Spelman College, and I just basically told them, Hey man, you know Spelman College was named after. Rockefeller's wife, Laura Spellman, they crucified me in the comments. Hmm. They talked all kind of shit. Oh, this and that. Woo, woo. First of all, I'm going to tell y'all something. I don't, before I, I've gotten to where I'm at, I would have been like, these some ignorant ass people. But I understand you too has been poisoned. You don't know no better. I don't care if you got a PhD or whatever, whatever. I tell you all the time, you just doing a hundred mile per hour down the wrong road. None of that shit helps. Why? Like I said earlier, it ain't going to put your people in a better position. None of it works. And everything you go to school, and this is no disrespect, but when you go to school, get a master's and all this, all you're doing is helping build America, not black people. You're not helping people, your people build. You're helping America build. You think they're going to send you to school to help build? Get the fuck out of here. Listen, you think they're going to sign another artist? Like Tupac, even though he talked about secular stuff, but he did spoke about the movement. You think they're going to sign another Bob Molly? I just saw the movie. Best movie I've seen in 30 years. You think they're going to put money behind an artist that's out there liberating his people? You done lost your damn mind. Why the fuck you think they signing motherfuckers like Sexy Red? No disrespect to her, but we've, we could have done a better job at picking a role model for that title. Sex Red got your children throwing that ass in a circle and all this other stuff because yep. they control that. You'll never see them sign one of their people to talk about their people. Nope. I bought the mic. My bad. But <laughs> you'll never see them sign one of their people to talk about their people. 
everything they do on a daily basis to keep us in the position we in. And this is why I be telling all the time, like a lot of these people want to attack these problems, but they don't understand where the problem stemming from. You think black people that damn dumb? You think black men that stupid? You think black women that stupid? No, nigga, them conditions that you speaking about. You're not speaking about the people that's putting us in those conditions. You're speaking about the effects of those conditions. Black men cheat. Black women is black women that right now we look like damn fools for letting people that don't look like us control the narrative whoa, for us. Whoa. Telling our story better than that's us. True. Ain't that's no true. nigga can stand up and speak for that's a Jewish true. man right now. True. And this goes for rich niggas, broke niggas, niggas who got education, this and that. This is why I try to tell y'all it doesn't matter because none of that shit is helping us no. in the situation we're in. No. Why? Because we don't own nothing. You can't boycott nobody when you ain't got shit to boycott. That's Why you think they did Kanye West the way they did? They was able to stop him from performing in his arenas. Shut down his, his shoes and this and that. They got all the factories. They got all the stores. You got two type of people. You got buyers and makers. Black people, we buy everything. And we buy from people that don't buy back. That's true. The conditions that we're in, bro, you have to understand. It's other people's painting the narratives for us, telling our story better than us. Got our women looking like damn trash. Got our men looking like trash. Got our children looking like trash. All because there's another group of people that don't look like us telling our story better than us, using us to tell our story because a lot of us, some of us prostitutes, nigga work for anybody with a check. No yeah. integrity. You can, Right now, you couldn't start a, a show put Jewish women on there to be clowning and doing the shit that they're doing to our women. But yet, we the first ones always apologizing and shit. The Jamie Foxes apologizing. For what? You got to understand where we at, bro. And these same people control you on all the top pillars. Your food, your resources, your religion, they control, okay? And like I say, when you let another motherfucker tell you that you ain't black, that you a European... You at a disadvantage off rip. That's like a hyena telling a fucking lion, you're a hyena. No, he's a lion. But we let other people convert us, which is colonialism, convert us to be something we're not. True. Come on, bro. I always told y'all, nigga, Jamaicans ought to have Jamaican schools to teach Jamaican children their Jamaican culture. If they don't and we lose connection with our our uh, our heritage and our culture, it will be replaced, nigga. This is simple math, bro. I just really un I fault those who who can really speak on this. You feel me? The ones who got the money, the LeBron James and all this other. One side of me say I fault them for it. Another side of me say I don't. Why? Because we don't support each other. I can't expect a man to go out there, do what he did, build up what he had to build up to protect his family, and we don't catch him when he fall. That's true. You got to wow, look at this deep. shit realistically. That's deep. That deep. Wow, that's deep. You got to look at it realistically. And you got to understand, every culture works together except for us. We the only ones that let people give us a, a religion. We the only ones that worship a God that don't look like us. We're the only ones that spend money with people that don't spend money back. Like, the, the, the problem is there. Why the fuck we going to their schools? Then y'all see Umar Johnson speaking about building a school. For whatever reason, people talk shit, but I'd rather go with that than niggas marching my kids into a school, right? Again, God made you to be either this or that. Read between the lines. You either this or you either that. But we let man tell us, oh no, it's a whole, it's a hundred and some genders. <laughs> man, my grandma would have shot you in your motherfucking face if you came around her popping your neck and doing all that shit because they weren't raised like that back then. No. Mm -hmm. It was different. Mm -hmm. But fast forward, you must understand these young kids don't, they don't, they don't know the difference between what it was and what it is. No. If I raised you to be what you are, like they doing our children, you don't know no, you don't, you're, I'm wrapping you in that psychosis like I was telling you. They just moving right along. That's all it is. If I taught you that, to, if I taught, if I, they did a, 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 
a thing called Dolly and Polly, where they raised a sheep to be a dog and a dog to be a sheep. Don't you know the fucking sheep was acting like a dog and the damn dog <laughs> was acting like a sheep? It shows that wow. your brain is a computer. And they instill these programs in your brain. If that fucking computer don't have the program to run, to get him get itself out of the conditions it in, it's in, it doesn't exist, bro. You don't understand what I just said. You don't have the 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 the, the, the you don't bro. You don't have the know how, right? Nor the inventory. To get yourself out of the situation you're in Because it's not there No one gave you that program But the program they gave you was to self-hate The program they gave us was Fuck them hoes Fuck them niggas Yeah Black women will get on a podcast Talk about men Men will get on and talk about It's a programming Program. You ain't never seen another culture do that no, you haven't. You ever seen a? You no, ever I, seen a white I, man? I, I, listen, you ever listen? You, it, bro, listen, you listen, listen. You, seen you that. ever seen a white woman get on podcasts and talk dog shit about white men? No, 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 no. never seen no, it. You ain't never seen that. And all I'm saying, it did, Matter man. Fact, he, he, when they talk about that kind of stuff, they talk broad scale of just means. Yeah, they don't say. A black man, a, a white man, bro. But but we'll get on there, and you're right. These we'll curriculums, bash down. bro. You got to think, bro. From stand a psychological, on stand on business with him. Not, what? It, from a psychological standpoint, dog. If you in a room with different groups of people, let's say five groups of people, right? Out of them five group of people, there's going to be a group of people that will let you know we don't want to do the shit they're doing. Yes. This is psychology, bro. You can mimic this off what you see. This what kids don't learn by what you teach them. They learn by what they see. Hmm. Oh, oh. And like oh. I say, the first seven years of the child in the theta stage, that's a hypnosis stage. That's why they be jumping around and psh, psh, doing all that. That shit's real to them. They don't have nothing to compare it to, whether to say it's real or fake. They don't have the programs yet, but this world going to definitely give them to them. So by the time they get a certain age... They're going to be instilled with these these fears. You know what the number one fear going to be? Oh, uh, that's big. Number one fear, you know what the number one fear going to be? What's that? Religion. Oh, of course. Of course. They've 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 brought down nations behind this. Now, not religion. Now you got to get a college degree. Just be a pastor. And that's another thing. How could like, you I, I don't get that. But but, but why why you got to go to uh theology school? To become a preacher, whatever. Yeah. Who the? That's why I told y'all. See, let's get into these words: certify and certifier. When you want, when you be, when you get a certificate from the certifier, you asking for their permission to become yeah. some. Yes. Let's go to these words like we spoke about. Let um on, on um uh when we spoke about the legal ease. Yes. Like I tell y'all, we speak English. In courts and in, and in government, oh my bad. In courts and in government, they speak legalese. Go look up the term. Okay, legalese. These are words, and, and lawyers know how, how to do this real well just to confuse you, right? Now, if you think about this, right? Like I was saying, you know what I'm saying? We living in a time, dog, where we don't control nothing. But we allow these people to give us government, give us dictatorship, yeah. put us in these positions we're in, lie to us, propaganda, you name it. We're not in this, this situation for nothing. And the crazy part is, this, 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 the, this the kicker with me, bro. This the kicker with me. When you speak of African deities, black people be the first one to do, don't want to hear that. Yep. Nigga, if you can listen to somebody tell you, and this is no disrespect, but just think about this fucked up conditioning. If you can listen to a white man tell you Jesus was white and you ran with this, but when you get a black guy tell you, no, these are African deities that Dave made millions and billions off of because these same supermans and these comic 
uh, these uh, comical heroes and Marvel heroes. Where you think they get this shit from? Mm. That's what kills me. Mm. But you know what? That's One deep. part of me say it's messed up. Another part of me say you conditioned. It ain't even your fault. You don't have the programs to prom- the, the the support the fact that God don't look like this. It looked like this. They gave you the program to say, nope, God look like this. You in a psychosis, bro. Wow. Niggas don't get on podcasts and talk like this. They be on this. Bro, I'm telling you off real. If I raised you to be a dog, put you around other dogs, nigga, you going to be a dog. That's true. I raised, these people raised black folks to be looked at as this and as that. So what a couple of us escaped that and we became successful. That shit don't mean nothing because like I say, as up until this day, none of that matters. No. LeBron James got a billion dollar contract. Did it change black lives? Mm-mm. No. Yep. It's the same way with the slavery shit. It went from private to public. Slavery ain't going nowhere. Slavery just mean cheap labor. At this point, we don't care who do it. Yep. Black, white, green, we don't care. We'll going to put your ass in jail. Now you property of the state. And when you become property of the state by law, laws that they created now to tell you, oh, you're a slave. You mean tell me God okay with us being slaves? So basically, <laughs> people still voting. They still voting. <laughs> The fuck out about of. all this uh, minimum wage, everything else, but it's cheap labor, it's still slavery. So, so people vote to be slaves anyway. It, listen, exactly. So, like, I'm gonna tell us a short, right? Like, a guy told me the other day, he said, Hey, you know what? It's raise time at a job. I said, Oh, you do, what would you drink? Hey, man, anything helps. That's a conditioning. That, that'll make sense. You it's a conditioning. Me, 25 cents helps or a dollar helps. It's a conditioning. That'll make sense. A raise? Listen, bro, let me say this, and I want y'all to understand this. If you born, it could be a miracle wherever. If you're born somewhere and you're not given the proper programs downloaded in your mind, right, to help you go against these things and these emotions and all this, bro, it don't exist to you, bro. That's the the only difference between people with money is it's a, it's a mindset, bro. That's it. Wow. Y'all got the same 24 hours, the same lid on here. They just got a different programming than you. That's why you need to go read Rich Dad, Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki. You will see the difference in mindsets. They both sleep in the bed. They both get up in the morning. The only difference in the poor dad and the rich dad is the mindset. Wow. You don't have the programs to support these things to to make you look at, like he just said, a quarter raise. Some people look at that as the world. Yes. What the hell? What? That don't even make sense. Then this this is the thing too. Like when I spoke about redlining, let me touch on that too. Redlining. Redlining just basically mean when the banks deny you as a black person because you are poor and you live in a certain area, but they also use redlining, right? Because basically what it, what it is, uh, overly qualified black people and Hispanics was denied over underqualified whites, okay? This is the same thing with the Humda Act. This is when the whole R. Kelly crap was going on. I told y'all, when they be putting all that shit in the news, it's a distraction. You understand me? That's how magic works. Look over here. Don't pay attention to what's going on over here. All right? And you had more white people fighting for that than shit, than black people. Yep. So it ain't, it's not about a, a, a black and white thing at, at a certain degree, but let's just, let's get to it. This is how you redline people. This is how you could push people of color, people of ethics, people of certain behaviors over here because you can't live over here. You don't have the money to. Okay? The Humda Act was where um, banks and institutions, was they had to give up the information to say whether this, this, this person lending is black, white, whatever, whatever. They did a 20-year study on that, and it showed clearly that it was a racist thing. Underqualified whites was being... Uh, qualified over overqualified blacks and Hispanics. Wow. Same thing with the with, with the praise and the, with the houses. You know what I'm saying? They they um it was this interracial couple. The the uh, husband was black. The uh, wife was white. The black guy went in to get the house of praise. It was way lower. Then when she went in and got the the house of praise, it was way higher. So what I'm trying to tell y'all is this, right? You living in a world where you don't own shit. Nope. So when you don't own nothing, you don't control nothing. 
all these women running around on, on TV acting the way they're acting, right, for a paycheck, right, has nothing to do with you. Why? Because you don't own nothing. Charles and White can walk around and talk about black people like a dog and people parade him and love him for that because he's vulgar. But he don't teach you nothing no. at all. Just being vulgar, speaking what he's speaking. The man, he, the man said some shit I won't even, I won't even repeat. Done disrespected the dead and all in between. You got to be a sick individual to parade a person that is praised to talk about you as a people. That is a sickness. Bitch, you'll never see that nowhere else. Mm. That's a sickening, bro. Wow. For a person to say, I get paid 20000 15000 an interview to talk about my own people. And they're going to push it. Because I told y'all, the ones at the top, they benefit from this shit. They benefit from your ignorance. Think about what I just said. What's the, what's the integrity in that? Mm. It, it could be him. It could That's be sad, anybody. Bro. It could be whoever. Um, a person that sit and talk about his own people, I'm talking about like a dog. Yeah. And get paid for it. You know why? Because entertainment is instant gratification versus delayed gratification. If you did something today, tomorrow, and you'd be benefited four years later, no, we want to be benefited right now. And that's the difference between instant gratification and delayed gratification. It's entertainment. That's all it is. That shit holds people's attention. That's why everything's so staged. You know what I'm saying? They create what is real and what is fake. And that they do, big time. But it don't make no sense for somebody big time, to big time, big time. They, to they do, do that. that big time. When the man talk about what he'll do to women, and I'm I'm, I'm gonna spell it out. It start it's R A P, and you can put the last letter on them. When you do that to women, wow. The E, wow. When that dude Charles the uh, White said uh. that, and that that should happen to. And I don't, I don't speak bad on nobody. I don't, Bro, I don't put nobody down. But if you talk if you talk like that about anybody, it's fuck you. I don't care if you're black. I don't care if you're white, green. I don't give yeah. a damn. You know why? Because I got daughters. Yeah. Any man, a grown man, yeah. that can say that, and you okay with that, Yeah. we're all mirror images, bro. Yeah, you man. eat what you like. You be around the people that entertains yeah, you. Man. So if he entertains you, or anybody, not just him. I ain't even focusing on him. Just anybody that could do that, and it, and it gravitates you. That means yes. you the same way. Yes. That's why they say, show me your friends. I'll show you what type of person you are. Because whatever the fuck they're doing, it Woo. excites you. You like it. Yes. So as y'all have some type of something relative, and it's the opposite of if you say it something or you afford something, and I right. don't like it. Right. So what I'm telling you is this. As a people, we're so screwed in the head, dog, till we praise and parade. And it might not be like how, you know, but we let people like that still walk. I'm going to say that. Yeah, that's wrong. That's wrong. People that get in front of camera and talk about his own people in a way that's so derogatory, bro, yeah. ain't nothing good can come from this. Yeah. That's a sickening, dog. That's big. That's real. I told you, bro, you don't, got to, you, don't got to, you don't got to pick up a gun and kill somebody, bro. You can feed your kid food that's... Full of chemicals. True. It's the same thing. You kill. So now you got social media. You did know what I'm saying? Certain True. things people say they're gonna push it. Certain things people say they're gonna they're gonna um what they what they call it? They gonna they're gonna blackball you. Not blackball, yeah. but they're gonna um uh, shadow ban you. Oh, so they big on that now. They don't want they don't want the truth to get out there. No, you see what I'm true. saying? Not true. But like I said, I don't I don't even debate with people no more. I respect all no matter what level you on or where you at. Right. I'm going to stand on me and what I believe in. And like I say, man, we got to do better than what we're doing if we want to see better and, 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 and attack the problem. Yes. You can't attack the people and the conditions and the effects of those conditions. True. When you say black men ain't shit, you got to look at why. Yeah, why? You First know. of all, who the hell got you? Then, no disrespect, like I, I got to say this because I'm, I'm, I'm just being real, right? I've, I've had a conversation well, I've seen what the dude was like. He he said, man, he, he just said, the, he said, man, the white man, the white man. And then the dude was like, oh, here we come with the white man thing again. Woo, 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 woo. But it's like, when you speak of like, you know, the Jewish people, the high-end Jewish people, the people that's running things and, you know, trickling down, 
What nigga got you paying bills every 30 days? That's big. Ain't now <laughs> nigga you know or I know got you or your mama or your daddy, your children or whoever paying bills every fucking 30 days. Who created this construct? They did. Who got you paying insurance? They did. <laughs> Don't you know in Florida to get house insurance, nigga, that's damn near another mortgage? Yeah. This is this is redlining. True. This is pushing you. This is breaking. This is inflation. What you know inflation does? Pick everything up so high till you can't afford it. Shake y'all out the house. They buy it up and bring that shit back down. Dang. Do it every 10 years, man. Dang. Who created this shit? Who sent you to a school that filled you with nothing but poison and taught you not a motherfucking thing? They did. <laughs> you think the capitalists going to send you to their school to educate you to overthrow them? You a damn fool if yeah. you believe that. Makes wow. no sense. Wow. They fight to put you in school to keep you out of animal state so that you can therefore be controlled. <laughs> Dang. That's, when, they get a, when they get a dog a little treat, all they do is give you a paycheck. Money is fake, bro. Yeah. Fiat currency, man. That shit That's fake, true. man. Why you think the Titanic sunk? <laughs> the Titanic sunk on purpose. Oh, wow. Because it was people that, when they when they created this whole, um, the, the whole monetary system, it was some people that didn't agree with that because they know power bring down power. Oh wow! That's in fit. That's 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 simple physics. A train can stop a train. Wow! A car can't. Wow! Equal power greater than can stop each other. So it was some people that was pretty powerful that didn't agree with the monetary system that the Rockefellers wanted to bring forth. J.P. Morgan's. You know what I'm saying? So what they did? They put them on the boat. The ones who got off, they knew what's up. They you got it. And the Dang. ones who didn't, I told y'all, man, y'all y'all been looking for the devil for the longest. They've been right in your face, man. In right your face. <laughs> <laughs> you yeah. feel me? Y'all know it's time of the phone lines, man. It's time <laughs> of the phone line, man. Y'all hit the line up on us, man. We, hey, and remember, this is not Papa Duck phone number. This is not my phone number. This is not our contact phone number. This is the only podcast phone number when we live in action. Okay? And I ask y'all, man, just hit the share button, man. We don't always agree with everything, but no. that's why we're here to learn. Yeah. I learn a lot from y'all. I talk yeah. to y'all. Like, y'all who know, I talk back and forth. Right. I don't know everything. We just here as a community, bro, to move forward because we're all under this same dictatorship, bro. Yes, big time. Oh, we got to put our heads? Yeah. Okay, let's do it. Remember, this is not our phone number. There's not no contact information. Let's go. You know, th this is only the podcast number. Y'all hit the number on that, on that screen. Live. You know what I'm saying? 352-717-4071. Yeah. And we'll get to it, man. And um, like I said, we try to get as many people on as possible. Yeah. Let's just share how you feel. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like I said, bro, it's all dictatorship world, man. Dictatorship, man. Like, I have people sometimes, like, Argue me down about certain things. Like, no, that ain't how it goes. Because they were taught that. Hell yeah. Man, your brain is very powerful. Yeah. People don't think, man, yo, you 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 have, I think it's called the um a, a thalus, I can't never I always forget it. The the, the methalus, a thalus. It's Hypo, in your brain. Hypothalamus. Hypothalamus. That is your body's pharmacy. I'm gonna say that again. The hypothalamus. It regulates how much you sweat, how much you don't sweat. It regulates different things in your body. That is, that is your. your I don't want to say Walgreens because I, I could break that down too. That's some oh, other shit. Oh, hey. <laughs> All right, we got a caller. <laughs> Let's go to the caller. Let's go to the line. What's happening? What's that? You're a pop up podcast. What's going on? How y'all doing, man? Oh, we good, brother. What's going we on? We doing with well. You? We doing well, man. Man, I'm glad y'all brought the podcast back, man. For, For sure. Yeah. Yeah, I just <laughs> yes. got a question, man. Yeah. Man, how do y'all, man, because I know we, we talk about, you know, the, the white man, you know, they run the world and all that. But, I, you know, and I ain't no conspiracy theory and all that, but I just want to know, though, like, if these people who actually control and everything, is they, like, is, is they all the way zooming or are they connected? Do they have some type of, is that bloodline, is it really real that they, like, you know, a part of another species that's actually controlling right. these things that's going on in the world? I think so. You know what I'm saying? I think so, definitely. I, I know it's, there's other entities out there. Like, I tell people all the time, man, right. a bird can be an alien, dog. You know what I'm saying? True. Like, True. I tell people, you think your arm is an arm? This is just what they told you. 
And this is how they control us yeah. with words and the emotions and things. Like, I'm a free thinker, bro. I don't, you know what I'm saying? So right. I create right, my right. own reality, man, from top to bottom. You get what I'm saying? And once you get to that point and you you do that, a lot of stuff, man, it's, it, it, it don't affect me like it do a lot of other people. But I definitely think at some point, you know, you, you, you got a lot of talk about the Anunnaki. They got a lot of talk about the reptilian, um, right. different things, you know. I, I wouldn't be surprised at all. But like I said, I'm beyond the flesh. You know what I'm saying? Right. This shit is a dream world to me. Exactly. I'm just here to do my job. And when I speak to the ancestors, I ask to be used as a vessel to do whatever work I'm here to do. I'm not here to wear Jordans. <laughs> not no disrespect to Joy, but <laughs> I'm just making an example. I'm not right. here to, you know, but to each his own. That's just, you know, where I'm at with it. But I definitely think that there's, I wouldn't be surprised, you know what I'm saying, if it was. Right. And, you know, the reason I say that, man, because, you know, I, I watch a lot of movies, and I, and I watch them with my third eye, you know what I'm saying, not just for entertainment. Definitely. And a lot of these movies, cause you know, they, I, I feel like they put the truth in a movie. You know what I'm saying? They got to tell you what they're doing to you. You hit it right on the head. They got to tell you. Know, you know, they yeah, yeah, yeah. To, to avoid, you know, the calm. The they got to yep. you know, follow the universal law. Damn, boy, you right, own right, it. Right, you right. own it. You already know what's <laughs> up. Yeah, man, man. You know what's man, up. Man, it's, it's, like, it's, like I, bro, it's like I woke up one day, man. I was like, cause I, I watched this movie, man. It's like an older movie, but it's called They Live. I watched that, uh -huh. too. Right. And, man, when I watched that, it, I don't know if you've seen it. I mean, yeah. You might have seen it before, yeah. but it's, it's a... Oh, have you seen it? Yes. They live? Yes. Yeah, man. I was just like, damn, they got to put it in the movies. You know what I'm saying? Like, they have and they, to. And when they show that, I'm like, I'm like, dang, they like, telling us what, you know, what's, you know, what's, what's walking around here. What's, yeah, man. And I'm like, damn, like, yeah. right. you know, true. True. I saw it to one of my partners. They was like, man, it's just a movie, man. And like, I'm like, nah, <laughs> man. It actually, hey, bro, like, it's it, 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 it deep in Like I said, it's a little deeper than that, man. But it's a little deeper than that, man. We yeah, appreciate yeah, the phone yeah. call, man. Hey, hey, oh, and uh, stay in time. Hit that share button for us, man. Yeah. Keep pushing the good message, positive message, man. We love you for that, bro. Thanks, bro. We appreciate it. All right, line's still open. Oh yeah, he um he, he definitely right. He got they got that's one of the cabals um things they got to show you. Like they tell you smoking kills, but they still yes. sell it to you. <laughs> yes. They have to tell you to, yes. to escape that karmatic. Yes. Another caller. That karma. Uh, no, yeah. Can I t can I just say say th so if you are calling, you go it goes to voicemail. That means someone's on the line. So keep okay. calling, guys. Yeah, y'all keep calling, man. Y'all get through. All right, yeah, we got. Somebody. We want to hear what y'all got to say. We got somebody on the line. Hey, All what's right, happening? You're on the Papa Duck podcast talking to people. Believe it's Steve and Papa Duck. What's up? What up? What up? What up, Pop? What up, bro? Peaches. I, I just I wanted to to share this with you guys. Uh, I think it's something that. A lot of us, majority of us, don't even take notice to. I, I, I watch you a lot on uh, social media, and, and I'm digging your message and your awareness. But, Peter, you. I've been thinking about all the brothers that's been left here mysteriously. Mm -hmm. And I'm wondering how is it that people is not noticing we're being assassinated at an alarmist rate, you know, uh, by way of by by the way of chemical warfare. If right. it ain't brain cancer, mm -hmm. you know. To me, that's the majority of it. You know, brain cancer, you know, there's uh, mysterious illnesses where some of the entertainers been left here. And also, you can't leave out these uh, just gun violent murders, you know. And it's said to be it's one of the guys or one of the people from the crew or somebody, you know what I mean, that looked like us that commit these murders. Right. But you know, and majority of us know that when it comes to money, we do almost anything. You yeah. know what I mean? We, A lot don't, of, we, don't, have, we don't have no conscience. Yeah, it's because that we don't, that, that's why I was saying earlier, we don't control nothing. Right. That they, they control the fact that we even need money. They they right. took out the, um, the, the bar system 
and gave us money so that they could stick their business in between us. They gave us entertainment. They gave us food. everything they gave us, but in the likeness of them having an agenda behind it. Right. So a lot of this stuff going to get overlooked as long as they keep pushing half-naked women. You know, rappers ain't talking about nothing and keeping their mind on Nothing gonna change. That's why I say we have to own things. You look at fifty years of hip hop out of all them artists that I love, that you know from KRS one on up. You know, and not speaking about him, but he did make a good point. But what I'm saying is, out, out of all them artists, man, none of them was able to get together and form their own record company, form their own television company. You know, Oprah got a television show, but it doesn't help us. Like I say, nothing up until this day helps black people. We don't own nothing. So as long as they're owning everything, they control the narrative. They control our mind, body, and soul, which just means they control what we think. Well, that's deep. That's deep. Yeah. Last, right. last, last caller. Call last caller. Call last caller. Call All right. They're online. Hey, what's happening? You're going to pop up a podcast. Hey, but I tell you, though, I'm, I'm going to get off, man. But it, it was a pleasure speaking to you, brother. Thank you, man. And, oh, uh, thank you, man. Hit, hit that shout button because, hey, appreciate share it. the message. Thanks so much, bro. He called back. <laughs> I didn't yeah. know. All right, okay. hang on. We can take one more call. Just, uh, Last lines call. O- lines open. What's had is popping up podcast. What's up? Make sure y'all hit that. Oh, Ubuntu. Yeah, lines open, though. Ubuntu Apparel, man. Yeah. Make sure y'all hit the website. And and like I was <clears> say, man, this podcast is about, you know, we learn from y'all, too. We learn from y'all, yeah, too. Yeah, we learn. So. This is so, about learning, man. Like, we, <laughs> it, it doesn't take pop it up, but I said, don't take me. It's take all of us together to keep pushing. Yeah, hit that share that. button, keep pushing. And like you said, yeah, work, put, put podcasts on. And yeah, if you're in Florida, in the surrounding areas, man, we stepping out. I, I want to come um, yeah. speak to the youth. You know yeah. what I'm saying? We 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 um we want to get off this um internet and um yeah. come touch people, man. Come yeah. see people. You know, a lot. I get a lot of emails. I get a lot of all that. So I'm ready, man. Let's let's do it. You know right, last saying? call. Last call. What's happening? You on pop up podcast? What's up? Hey. Peace, peace, Papa Dog. What's up, man? Let's let dog go live. Hey, oh, what's up, brother? I appreciate your work, man. I've seen you for a while, and uh, I, I want to say congratulations on the good Thank work you. you're doing. All right. Thank you, man. Appreciate I appreciate it. Well, uh, hey, hey, listen. I think what we need to do is we need to we 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 got everybody saying a lot of different things, but a lot of a lot of what's going on is that we're not putting this stuff together. Right. We got to put agree. each piece together ourselves individually you feel what i'm saying we got to put these pieces together and we got to do it on a daily basis right we got to listen to our body and we got to listen to the energy facts facts when you listen to the energy you know what to do and how to react and how to respond right we missing that that's key now they say earth is a school earth is a school is a university Mm -hmm. but as i'm looking at that i'm looking at a school like a regular, like a like a school, and you know what I mean in the physical. Mm-hmm. In the, in the physical school, they got a detention room, right? But if Earth is a school or university, it seems like the so-called black man is stuck in detention. Why right. is that? Again, like I say, we don't own nothing. And it's and, and I, you know what I'm saying. That's that's yeah. always been my thing. You know what I'm saying. We know best for us. But like I say, everything that's been put in place, like us paying taxes, us working every day, us having to do, that ain't from us. The crazy part is this. Like I tell people, guns ain't nothing compared to paperwork. It's people, white people, oh, dead right now still controlling us that's alive. Yes. We have to do away with the whole construct, the, the school, everything that's in place, we got to get rid of it. You get me? They make us yes. think we're in a democracy, but no, we're not. We're not in the democracy, bro. And, and like I say, you are 100% right, but as long as, think about this, as long as we, put it like this, never educate the people you want to dominate. That's it. Never send them to school to learn them nothing. Create a, a matrix or a world to make them think that this means something. It don't, bro. You know what I mean? So as long as we go into their schools, as long as they're giving us what religion is, and as long as they're in control, bro, nothing will never change. So to, so, to solve that issue we need our own everything. Yes. School, we need our own everything. Because everything they put forth in front of us is an agenda behind it. That's it. But once they control this, bro, it's a wrap. Done, done deal. They know that. Once they get in this mind and they create the reality that they want you to have, come on, bro. It's a wrap. <laughs> you like a... 
That's why I say when they say a person's slow or a person is, you not, we need to redefine that. You know that's what I'm real. saying? That's big. That's real. We need to redefine that because even even people with autism got great powers that they don't want us to even even having anxiety. If you could control your anxiety, you know how powerful you'll be. These people give us these diagnoses and it's just it's just control, bro. It's you know crazy. what I'm saying? We need to get away from all this shit and and, and and not let them teach us that anything outside of us is going to help us. As far as right. internally, you have to internalize this stuff. Teach us the basic laws, the principles of the universe that they know that they're not going to teach us. You get what I'm saying? Like time in equals time out. That's a universal law. Man can't manipulate that, but I can put you in the matrix and make it seem as though you can manipulate that time. It's all, everything is artificial, bro. We got to get back to what's real and, 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 and um, let man, like what I said, there's a difference between when they went on so called went on the moon, which is like one step for man, one giant leap for mankind. What's the difference between man, black man, and mankind? <laughs> Think about that. <laughs> one step for man, one giant leap for mankind, or a kind of a man. Wow. Okay. But like I say, man, we can. Love is love, bro. You know, but when you when you got a country in the world ran by maniacs, demonic motherfuckers that that hold all kind of information, steal, take, lie, pillage, convert, uh, bro. <laughs> come on, bro. These are the people that crawl on their stomach, and when you turn around, kneel down to help, and they'll turn around and blow your damn brains out. These are the people we're dealing with, so they don't have no love. You know what I'm saying? It's it's nothing. It's just they've created this world, man. It's, all this shit is a big dream world right now, man. We got to get away from all of it, man. We got to redefine what a woman is, what a man is, and stop letting them tell us what it is and what it ain't. Right. And then they don't put nothing in this world currently to represent this is a man, this is a woman. If that's the case, why the fuck y'all signing Sexy Red and all these other people to get on here and degrade women? Like, look at it, bro. Look at everything on TV, bro. TV, t dog, a camera is a weapon. Yes. A camera is a weapon. Yes. So when I say stuff like that, don't just look at simple stuff as if, no, a camera is a weapon. You can control minds with cameras, bro. Anything can be weaponized. Anything. Yeah. So when you think like that, because like I say, they teach you what to think and not how to think. I don't think the way they teach us to think. A camera is a weapon, and that camera has got into the minds of us as black people and other people because other people treat us as what they see too. Yes. So when you got women going around throwing water on each other, you know what I'm saying, and um, I feel as though Tyler Perry in a situation he can't get out of because he came in one way, and if you look at the shows he's doing right now, they are using him. They're going to always use us to get to us. Mm. Yeah, we'll give you $100 million. This shit fake. This fake money, bro. Wow. You know what I'm saying? That's a spell. Wow. People understand. You got to understand voodoo. You got to understand hoodoo. Everything ain't bad like you, like they teach you. you. Get what I'm saying? You got to get beyond the flesh, though, man, to, to, to not be afraid of that stuff, bro. But they, they ain't going to teach us that. That's why I say, the way I am, and we gonna, we, gonna, we got to wrap it up. The way I am, it chose me. I didn't chose it. You know what I'm saying? And when it chooses you, bro, you got to go with it. A lot of y'all been chose, man, just to even think something wrong. You got some people so wrapped up in this world, bro, they don't know what the fuck going on, bro. They don't know. They don't know. They ain't got no, like, they just these happy-go-lucky people that they've trained to be. It's not yep. their fault. I'm talking about inner psychosis, bro. I be like, word, wow. Then you got some people like a lot of y'all. They can't tell y'all know anything. Mm. Y'all going to question everything, and I'm glad you do. I'm glad y'all question everything, bro. The the weird is the new cool. If you ain't weird, I don't want to hang around you, bro. That means you're a real regular person. If you ain't weird, I don't want to hang with you, bro. We don't have nothing in common. This is why I say you have to redefine things, bro. You have to. And with that said, man, I definitely appreciate y'all 
joining in this week. For another podcast. Another podcast. Another successful podcast. And y'all know how we do it each and every time we jump on this thing, this yeah. podcast. Make sure y'all go to Ubuntu Apparel, like yeah. I said, man. Yeah. Hit the website, man. I love y'all. And it's just fashion with a purpose. And yes. I, I am I'm too in this in this this thing. You get what I'm saying? Yes. I I've had some people be like, well, you know, you pushing your clothing line, you this, you that. Man, listen, at the end of the day, Ubuntu is something that's that's way deeper than just a clothing line. It took me a while to come up with it. And if you look at the logo, it's four men holding guns against each other's back, right? Protecting the women and children. You can put that logo up one more time and we're going we're gonna to wrap it up. Look at that logo. That that's, that's four men holding up guns, protecting the women and children, right? And this is the same thing they do. They logos mean a lot. That's why they take sometimes years before they come up with them. Trust me, man. I wish we, we need our own school so we can give these these the real you know what i'm saying and then from there we create our own civilization we just ain't there yet because they done poisoned us bro it's a lot of people walking around living they're alive but they're not living all because they done went to these european schools right and they done been converted from a lion to a hyena script them and like i say when you don't claim your own identity they will give you one listen man we appreciate y'all for joining man we got to yeah. get up out of here man um like I say, man, we love y'all. If you took the time, two, three minutes to look at us, we appreciate it, man. All I ask, hit the share button. You know, they've been shadow banning me on Facebook, but we're going to get it out there. And I need all y'all help to do it. You know what I'm saying? So yes. if I offended anybody, I'm sorry. I, I'm a man. I can say that. You feel me? Because that's not what I'm here to do. We here to learn from each other. And I, like I said, I learn a lot from y'all. We bouncing off until we get into a better position to where we know better. And when you know better, you can do better. Yes. Okay, so with that being said, it's Pop of the Podcast. And like I tell you all the time, in order for you to be found, you must first be lost. Lose. And we out, man. Yeah. Yeah.